Hey, what's going on, y'all? It's your Minx, and in today's video, I'm really excited to talk to y'all about the importance of spiritual protection, protecting your energy, and just kind of like what that looks like. Um, it's really important part of manifestation, so we're just gonna go ahead and talk about that. If you're one of my returning subscribers, then you already know, like, I keep things really simple. I kick it to y'all very real, so this is no exception. This does not involve crystals or anything like that. If it's your first time here, congratulations. You made it to like the best YouTube channel ever. We be dropping gems over here. So go ahead and subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up. And yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. So spiritual protection and protecting your energy is really important because manifestation is all about your state of being. It's all about the narratives that you create. And it's all about like how you feel about your life and your experiences. Now, if you're entertaining low quality people and they're giving you low quality quality experiences, you're going to feel like you you have a low quality life and it's going to be easier for you to affirm that this is low quality and I'm having low quality experiences. Now, the key to manifestation is not necessarily to ignore the 3D or anything like that. It's to first of all, believe that we're worthy of things. And a lot of times we talk ourselves out of our worthiness because we're basing our worthiness on how other people are treating us or just the type of experiences that we're having. And that is why it's very important that we protect our energy. Let's say you're like in a toxic relationship. I've been in a toxic relationship, right? When I was in a toxic relationship, I just remember feeling not so great. I remember feeling like, you know, dang, like I know I deserve better. Like this is really, this is a stinky situation. I don't like this situation, it's yucky. Or even unsupported friends or people who I think are for me and who aren't really for me. I was like, you know, this makes me feel like really bad, you know? And so that's what it's all about when it comes to protecting your energy and spiritual protection. It's about being real about how the situations and how the people in your life make you feel. Now, a lot of times it just requires a shift of perspective and we have to recognize where we're able to starve things of our energy because it's like, if somebody's trying to argue with you, you don't have to argue back. You don't have to allow them to pull you into that. You could just let them look stupid. My favorite thing when people try to start with me or say something funny, because I got a family who, the child, they be talking shit. And so if somebody try to say something to me like, oh, why are you wearing that or something like that? I'll just kick it back be like, oh, wow, you know what? I really love your shoes. You know, like I'll pay them back a compliment. That's like a way that we also protect our energy is perspective and just recognizing that every like battle doesn't deserve you to fight it. You know what I'm saying? You got to kill people with kindness. Stop allowing people in their bad days to rub off on you. Like, let's say you go to a restaurant or you go do something and somebody just is rude to you. Like... You don't have to acknowledge that. You don't have to like accept that. It's enough for you to just be like, oh, okay. I like your shoes anyway, you know? Because a lot of times whenever we start to get into that combative mode and start going back and forth with anybody, what we're doing is we're trying to prove our worth. We're trying to prove our worthiness of a quality experience when you were worthy when you were born, period. There are delicious, spectacular things that are your birthright. Abundance is your birthright. Peace is your birthright. Happiness is your birthright. Love, and I mean real love, is your birthright. And if you're not careful and if you're not mindful of the situations that you're putting yourself in, and if you're also not careful and mindful of what you're paying attention to and feeding your energy into, you will get talked into a narrative that, you know, my life is hard. I always get treated a certain way. These type of things always happen to me. You know, people are always you know people have a nasty attitude you know and you start projecting that out into the world and that's the reality that you begin to experience spiritual protection and protecting your energy also looks like accepting when plans get canceled accepting when you start to have a hard time linking up with people and it's just not compatible stop feeling like you have to hold things together and you have to try harder to maintain relationships I have a cousin who I recently was like, I'm not fucking with her no more <laughs> because she was screenshotting me stuff and being messy. And I don't like that type of energy. And to me, it's like, she'll talk to me and tell me her bit, her friend's business, who she's been friends with this girl forever. But it's like, bitch, if you'll tell me her business, you, I know you're telling me mine because we only been cool for like a few months. Like, girl, what the fuck? You know? So it's like, I noticed with her, like I tried to reach out and link with her and she was busy. And then I haven't heard back from her. Allow it. 
okay? If you try, if you keep trying to link up with somebody or you, te you keep trying to do something or you keep trying to go somewhere, sometimes that's a sign that you don't need to be dealing with that. It, re it really is. And it's about awareness. That's really the backbone of spiritual protection and protecting your energy. It's first about recognizing and being aware that you are going to be protected by unseen forces. The most high, the almighty creator is always protecting us, God. But a lot of times we get in our head that we want things to go our, a certain way. I want my life to look like this. I want these people to be in my life right now. And so we create our own suffering because we start to get disappointed and upset when things don't work out for us. And I'm going to give y'all a quick story, right? So this week, this guy wanted to hang out with me. And I did want to hang out with him because, like, all work and no play makes mix a dull girl, okay? I wanted to go hang out, you know, and I was down. I was down to clown. And, you know, I was waiting for him for about an hour. He finally calls me. He's like, all right, I'm on my way. And then he pocket dials me back and is like... I hear him clocking the hoes, y'all. He was talking to females and stuff like that. And to me, it's like, okay, this is not my man. Like, he don't owe me nothing. But still, at the same time, why is you playing with my time? Like, baby, my time is very valuable. And you over here got me waiting for an hour so you could talk to the next bitch. Like, what the fuck? Like, absolutely not. And so, I didn't end up winking with him. You know, I listened to the conversation. You know, somebody popped out, you back, you be like what was said you know and i heard what was said and i wasn't feeling that shit so i was like you know what like just do you kick it however you want to kick it whatever i don't care i'm not coming out i'm not hanging out with you because no <laughs> but that pocket dial situation didn't have to come back and now that i heard that now i know even if i do hang out with him i know what category to put him in like this isn't somebody who i feel like deserves my energy or my effort like he out here clocking the hose you know so that protects me from trying to get my feelings into it okay now the old me would have just been upset and would have been like dang like you know because my plans had got canceled a couple times in the last week or so people saying we're gonna link up and hang out and then it just doesn't happen and i started to get a little annoyed you know after i decided not to kick it with the guy on sunday and i was like dang like <laughs> it felt like in my head created this narrative like don't nobody fuck with me people not fucking with me don't nobody like me don't nobody want to kick it with me right but then I was like, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, all right? And then my higher self came in and was like, Michelle, a couple weeks ago, you prayed for protection, right? Right. Because I know there are really delicious things that are manifesting for me right now. I won't speak too much on them. I'm going to share the success story soon. But um, there are really delicious things that are manifesting for me. And I know these things are manifesting for me. So I prayed like two, three weeks ago. I was like, please protect me from the people, places, things, and thoughts that are that cannot go with me to this next level that I'm going to in my life. Because if you're not progressing, if you're not growing, you're dead. So you know and so I asked for that and then after that it just got harder to link up with certain people after that like certain people just aren't hitting me up like how they used to and even when people do hit me up it's like I've lost the appetite to even spend time with them and so that's also what spiritual protection and protecting your energy looks like it looks like you lose the appetite to hang out with certain people it looks like the things that certain people do make you cringe now where you used to be like oh whatever you didn't care it's like no that makes me cringe because it's not compatible with the places that you're going in your life and you have to let go and allow this to happen stop trying to force things to be your way and allow things to happen for you that's the backbone of manifestation y'all because if you're hanging around low quality people if you're having low quality experiences and it's just if, if it's not a vibe then it's going to mess with your mind it's going to mess with the type of narratives that you're creating in your head and it's going to put you out of alignment with all the delicious spectacular abundant things that are your birthright so spiritual protection and protecting your energy mainly looks like discernment you have to see people for who they are not for who you want them to be and you have to start to let go of relationships because whenever we let go of things what we're doing is making room you have to let go so that you can move on because there's a version of you that's tied to one timeline and that timeline has certain friends certain people certain behaviors certain thoughts attached to it now the timeline you would prefer that i'm sure you want to manifest in the type of life you really 
really want to live where you have a great soulmate, where your career is thriving, where you're feeling good about yourself. That's a different timeline than the one you may be on right now. And you have to recognize it's about what's aligned and misaligned with that. If you're trying to work on your body and you have a friend who always inviting you out to eat, knowing that you're working on your body, that friend is misaligned and you need to take some time away from that friend. If you're in school and you want to get certain grades and you have a friend that's always wanting to hang out, always wanting to party, you might need to distance yourself from that friend, okay? Because that friend is misaligned with the grades that you want. You want to get all A's, right? Well, you can't get all A's if you're running behind Susie all the time trying to go party with Susie because you think Susie's your friend. Look, well, my name is Susie and Gucci think I love him. She don't. Susie do not love you, okay? <laughs> Period. I feel like one of the biggest parts of spiritual protection and protecting your energy is going to involve you growing within yourself. Start to become more and more of who you really want to be, and you're going to find who's really down for you. Y'all, I used to live in Texas, and I had friends who invited me to move out there. When I moved out there, I moved out there with like $20, y'all. <laughs> I had no money. I had just lost my job. It was crazy. And they put me on out there with this company they was working for, right? So when I came out there, I didn't have no ends. You know, they was paying my bills, my phone bill for me and everything. I moved out there. I got the job. I started beasting at the job, doing better than them. I started losing weight. And now all of a sudden, it's a problem. That's what I'm talking about. That's why you have to start making progress within yourself. Because when you really start leveling up, when you really start making progress within yourself, you're going to recognize that is, also, that is also a form of spiritual protection because you're going to be able to better see and recognize who's actually for you, who wants to see you happy, who wants to see you healthy. Y'all, I'm telling y'all, the more I shine and the brighter I shine, I had a whole cousin who did spell work on me. This bitch you think I don't know. Bitch, I know, all right? And whenever we also become aware of our energy, we can notice nuances. And if you feel like somebody's trying to attack your energy or something crazy, just simply say, return to sender. This energy is not mine and I return it to sender. All those heavy emotions and all that stuff that try to attach themselves to you, you have to start to return those to sender because those are not yours to keep. The key to manifestation is having a good state of being. It's feeling like something wonderful is about to happen. Really great things can happen for me overnight in an instant, okay? Protecting your energy and spiritual protection aligns you with just the most delicious and spectacular experiences. But you have to allow the thoughts, the feelings, and especially the people who want to go, you have to allow them to go, all right? And stop making them your reality and a part of your experience. But yeah, that's all I have for spiritual protection, y'all. Allow things to not work out for you. Be mindful of the type of company you keep in and just focus on your state of being, okay? Recognize that the most high, the almighty creator has the panoramic view and when things don't work out, when plans keep getting canceled, take it as, oh, I'm good on that. And just keep going. It's never you. You're always being guided to the life that is just full of maximum fulfillment for you. So as long as you believe that, as long as you trust that, and as long as you hold that as your truth, then you're opening yourself up to so much, I promise. So yeah, that's all I have for y'all today. Um, I appreciate y'all for supporting me. I love y'all so much, and thank you for allowing me to be here to support y'all. Comment down below and let me know how I can support you. I love y'all so very, very much. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.